Hi. Alright, so most people who have been viewing my channel for a while now most likely know that a lot of the things I try to do is uh, provide fixes and, and resolutions to issues that I've run, in, run into. And in this video right here, um, the, um, let's see. the reverse sleeper build uh, part 5, I had run into a problem installing while installing um, Windows 10 and I think it happened twice it might have been in this video too I feel like it was in this video and if not it was in this one uh, because I run into it twice it happened to me twice but this one video here is the one that managed to catch it and uh, put a uh, screenshot um, while while the video was being uploaded where it gives you an option to pick something fortunately that was uh, an option because I never actually did a video on this particular issue I ran into and talk about what my problem was and how I fixed it I mean kind of sort of I did because here it is right um, Uh, but the thing is, I never actually did a video, you know, titling um, the video Orange Screen of Death or Orange Screen White Bars or something like that to um, bring somebody to the video who uh, might be looking for such a fix. And like here. This one. All right, so this problem was happening while I was trying to install Windows 10, and I was using two different DVDs, one that was a 32-bit and a 64-bit on the same DVD, and one that was just a 32-bit. And the reason why I tried two different ones is because I wasn't certain if maybe there was an issue there. So, um, essentially, I hadn't ever done a video labeling it. Fortunately, there was a screenshot available and I assume that's how this person found <coughs> excuse me and I assume that's how this person found the video uh, was through the screenshot because it's not entirely labeled and it did happen to me two different times in this series of, of uh, videos and there's also you know two hours worth of uh, footage you know all together I, there's no way that it would have been found that easily unless somebody sat down and watched it, you know? And that's why I'm doing this video now. Uh, one, I intend on responding to this person because they have run into a situation that was similar to here that, that I had, and uh, they believe that they need to get a new USB. The thing is, I don't believe that that's the case. And I do intend on responding. Um, and they may have already done so. It's been a couple of days. I hadn't had a chance to get back sooner. Um, but for me, I did manage to get the installation through. And uh, you'll see that in... You, you would see that in the later videos of this uh, series. Because there is a video where I have uploaded um, one getting Windows XP and also later on running Windows 10. So essentially what I'm saying here is that I'm, I'm doing this video now to one get it out there that it, I did fix the situation and um, title it you know properly so that it's easier to be found. And uh, essentially what happened was I, for me at least, and it might be different for other people, the board that I was working with was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, it was very, very particular about a lot of different things. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, one of those things is that it did not want to um, boot to the USB at first. And that was because it was disabled um, in the BIOS by default for some reason and the, the, the way I fixed that was updating the BIOS to the to the motherboard and then I was able to um, enable the U <coughs> excuse me 
I was able to enable the USB and um, then I had to manually, if I recall correctly, uh, get into the boot menu to choose the USB because I don't believe that that uh, motherboard, if my memory serves me, wanted to boot to the USB by itself. Thinking here. Now, I mean, it may be possible. Well, it may be possible that uh, I was able to set it to boot, you know, in the boot order. But I don't, I don't recall anymore. I do know that I just went in manually by hitting the, uh, I think it was the F8 key or something to get to the boot menu. Uh, so essentially, what I'm saying is, for that particular person who's running into the same problem here they might want to um, one update their bios if they can most likely they should be able to I would assume unless the bios are really hard to find <coughs> excuse me so one I would update my bios two I would check my bios settings for the USB to make sure that it's enabled and um, then try to set the boot order and if, if for whatever setting the boot order is not an option or hard to find you can should be able to use like f8 f2 f11 and like f12 i think to find one of those <coughs> excuse me to find one of those uh, menus to get into the boot order so i did eventually get um the windows to install and get through all this and get past that that was in uh one of these videos here where I had finished it so yes it can be done you can get around this mess here and um, essentially just uh, think about updating the BIOS like I said and check the settings to make sure that you can get into the USB and of course it could very well be a, in this person's case uh, getting a USB as well uh, but I figured before doing so if someone else is out there looking um, for a fix or can't figure out why when they're trying to install my suggestion is don't install using a DVD use a, C use a USB instead and go through those settings um, to get there <coughs> excuse me um, let's see here I guess that's that thanks for watching I will uh, update you on other stuff soon, and um, I do intend on coming back to this because somebody has made a comment. I mean, there's been a few people who have made comments on these videos that I want to uh, come back and uh, basically um, do another uh, video, I think, about the mouse and, and try some of their suggestions. All right. Um, thanks again for watching.